Welcome to Fueled with Purpose podcast, brought to you by Excel Strategies. We're a mentoring network. I'm Jay Thompson, the founder and CEO, and we are here in the Sugar City Studios, high above Savannah, Georgia, with my good friend Nathan Price. Nathan, good to have you up in the studio, buddy. Thanks, Jay. Thanks for uh, being here. Yeah, well, listen, uh, you came in last night. I know you heard about the mobile training units that we were doing, interested, started following us on um, Facebook. You know, we're, we're just glad that you're interested and in taking a taking an interest in what we're doing with Excel. I know you were on the trailer with us at Bethesda here in town, mm-hmm. training some boys yesterday. We were gr- glad to have you out here. Yeah. Tell us a little about, you know, what you're doing in Cordell and then kind of how you got connected with us. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, I'm a family pastor there at First Baptist Church Cordell. Uh, I've been there almost two years. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have four kids. I'm my, wife, my lovely wife, Elizabeth. We have three boys. Uh Seven, five, and three, and we just had a little girl who's three months old. She's nice. wonderful. Yeah, she's wonderful. So you're on your toes, man. I absolutely, you're, brother. You're playing what we call zone defense. I absolutely, right? yeah. We've been outnumbered for a while. It's, it's lots of fun, of course, in my house, and I love it. But uh, I was just excited to hear uh, just how what you what God's doing through you guys and what and how He's kind of uh, setting up. Uh, create a path for you guys to do ministry and yeah. uh, mentor guys and raise them up to uh, be good members of society and just well, what just what a great thing that you've been able to just in the short time you kind of got the mobile training units going. Uh, yeah, so we we call those mobile training units our, our kind of it's a new platform into the community uh-huh. so that Excel can move into the community and train makes, yeah. in a healthy way. Yeah, I mean I, it's I mean what better way to take it to them? Right, because that's because right. they can't come right now during COVID. So. Yeah. Take it to where they can be, where it's, they are, where it's people been are. really good for us, you know, yeah. during this COVID period. Sure. So, Absolutely. And we're actually, we just launched back into the schools two weeks ago. So cool. now we're yeah. back into all of our schools. That's right. I went, I met with the That's right. You were yeah. at a school with us. Yeah. And we're actually opening up into new, new territories. Cool, so man. we're excited cool. about that. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it continues to grow. I know, I know it seems like uh, there's fuel behind the fire for some reason. So yeah, there you go. I'm excited. That's one of the reasons I want to jump on board and just see how, what it looks like for us, especially where I'm at and, and kind of. The, me up more rural farm top Cornell, Georgia. Right. They call it South Georgia, but it's really not South Georgia. It's more like Central Georgia. Right, it's Central Georgia. Yeah, yeah. and so we, we always say with Excel, we've got a rural and urban mentoring strategy. Yeah. So we believe we can take these mentoring training, uh, mobile training units and go anywhere the road takes us to mentor. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's what I'm here trying to fill it out to see how it fits and how it will work. I know it will work, uh, how we go about it in Cornell. And, you know, I could be, it's a bunch of, Pretty good sized cities. I'm not gonna be in Macon in 45 minutes. Right. Uh, Albany, uh, 45 minutes. Tipton, a little bit less than that. Pretty good sized cities, and uh, all guys that need be mentoring. And right. Talk a trade. Uh, we got. We could. We could do that. Like it's possible. Because yeah. 75 sure. runs right through Cordell. So that's right. I could be about anywhere in Georgia. Yeah. Well, so. look. You know, we. Uh, you and I've got some similar paths, right? I mean, uh, you know, I was thinking about how I spent some time in Raleigh. Uh, you know. We talk about mentoring on this podcast and who is poured into your life. And I know you spent some time in Raleigh, right? Yeah, I did so, a church called Providence, went to Southeastern Seminary, met my wife there, and a guy named Steve. Steve? Uh, yeah, Steve. You know Steve? Well, what's his last name, Steve? I, I think it's Wright, Steve Wright. Oh, uh, yeah, good. Steve Wright, Yeah, man. Steve Wright. Yeah, that's a good so, connection. And I just got in with that guy. Uh, he taught me a lot about life. Uh, how to love, how to love well, how to serve well, yeah. and just uh, set me up to be successful. And yeah, Steve was uh, Steve was my mentor too. So <laughs> That's cool. uh, I yeah. cut my teeth on student ministry with yeah. Steve, man. Yeah, so. so he always set me up to be successful, and that's kind of what you're doing with these guys, right? As it's fueled down to the to excel. I mean, it's pretty neat how to get the full picture of what where you've been and where God's leading you to next. Right? So, yeah, sure, man. Know, so it's just it's, it's exciting to see, and uh, this is impact on it's it's all over my life. He married me. Uh, he pushed me to pursue my wife too. So. How about that? I haven't told you that story. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know how Steve works. <laughs> yes, you and do. So we both have an appreciation for how Steve has a little prodding for us to go after yeah, yeah. Uh, our sweethearts and pursue them, right? Like you were just talking about, you know, and, and we talk about that in our curriculum with our, our young men. We talk about how how we as men are, are created to uh, to provide and to protect and to pursue yeah. our yeah. sweethearts, our brides. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. So, that's, uh, what, that's what I call her. That's what she is. And uh, she gets priority. There you I mean, go. She does. It's her, my kids, and my church. And, there you, you go. Know, so. yeah. Well, listen, we're excited that you've taken an interest in the mobile training units and Excel's mentoring strategy and, and really think that it can work in, in rural Georgia. We believe it can. We're already out in Effingham County yeah. uh, and more of the rural yeah. uh, community in these three three counties of our territory, what we're calling our territory, and then we're in Bryan County. And so uh, we found a lot of success mentoring through the uh, alternative schools. Okay. 
Now, through the public schools, uh, we are we work with other private schools and with organizations even in the community. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of organizations are inviting us in to bring our curriculum, to bring our training strategy, and the mobile training units. Cool, and you know, we have that core too. Like, uh, you know, I'm having a very good relationship with the middle school there. Uh, gotcha. And uh, they have star students, which right. are ones that kind of you probably it's all throughout Georgia. We have those, mm -hmm. uh, but we also have our target school. Yeah, we, we could roll up there, and I know they would be thankful to have us roll up yeah there and, yeah good and do whatever task it is for that day or whatever yeah, well perfect so. man well listen we always uh you know we always are, are, are grateful for guys you know especially guys that are in ministry that could see that this is as a platform i know you've done some coaching before uh, you've mm -hmm. done some football coaching i coach basketball in the community and then so we always know that this platform for the mobile training units allows us another um uh, another option to be able to move into the community to care for students and to invest in their lives. Yeah, it'll probably reach some that you wouldn't reach. There you uh, go. I mean, you know, there's no doubt that uh, churches should be reaching out, but there's some stuff in schools, but just not every, I don't know anybody else who's doing anything like this. Right. So, right. I mean, why not try it? Why not, why not try to invest yeah. positively in a community with young people, the next generation? That And my whole thing when it comes to the next generation, if you just want to sit around and complain about them, but you never – Poured into one, mm. just need to hush. Yeah, because like the next generation uh, is the next generation. But if you ain't doing anything to impact them, or even try to impact them, don't, don't, don't just hush. So, like, so what we would say, <laughs> what we would say is, look, if 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 they're, you're having a, 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 if you're having trouble with the next generation, then if you if you hush and then you come sign up to mentor yeah. with us. And get to know then, one. Get to know and then get to know them, and then teach your life experiences exactly. as a mentor through exactly. our mentoring strategy. Exactly. That to me, <laughs> it, that, and honestly, what we're seeing is we're seeing individuals uh, through churches and other organizations launch into Excel's mentoring strategy because they're saying it's an outlet for them to get Absolutely. back. Absolutely. And like lots of people haven't been trained up. Look, it, it, this is an easy way to be trained up. Yeah. Just show up. Just show up. I mean, like, and that's the thing. Once you get to know some of these kids and get to know their hearts, get to know some of even the backgrounds they come from, you, it will change your perspective. God starts to break walls down. Like, yeah, mm, okay, I, I see what the purpose is. Of this. So, so yesterday at our training at Bethesda, you heard me give our three principles yes, uh, to the young men, right? Yeah. I said, well, what do you have to do first? You got to get up, yeah. right? Get out of bed, get going for the day. You got to show up. So show up early for the job, yep. and you got to speak up. You got to communicate. We got to be better communicators, Absolutely. right? And so it's the same for mentors, right? Let's let's listen. Let's get up. Let's go show up mm -hmm. to Excel, and let's mentor, let's speak word, up, and communicate word. truth and principles that will guide us, right? Absolutely. Push you forward. Push everybody together mm -hmm. forward. There you go. Yeah. Let's move forward together, right? Yeah. Well, listen. Uh, thanks so much, Nathan. We are so grateful to have you in the studio today. Thanks, man. Thanks for and it's always here. good to have your wisdom and experience uh, in the studio on the podcast. And so, so thank you so much. It's a pleasure, man. Listen, we couldn't do this podcast, the Fuel with Purpose podcast, without the support of Mark and Jenna Hall. They're our title sponsors for this year, and we're so grateful for y'all to, to allow us the opportunity to tell our story through Excel. So thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, if you want more information about Excel, you can go to our social media platform on, on Facebook at Excel Mentoring. You can go to our Instagram, or you can go to our website at exceltoday.com and find out more information about our mentoring strategy. Thank y'all so much for being with us today. Take care. Excel Strategies is a mentoring network that exists to empower young men with purpose and passion. We accomplish this through mentoring and training on topics such as goal setting, time management, relationships, health and fitness, financial stewardship, and so much more. To learn more about Excel Strategies or how to support our work, you can visit us online at exceltoday.com.